Um, my question is for John Stackhouse. I'm not a Christian, but I was just wondering how you decide which aspects of the Bible to follow and which to ignore. For example, the Bible encourages slavery in the New Testament, and the Old Testament even goes so far as to name shaving one's head to be sinful. Do you think it's inevitable that Christians will eventually ignore all teachings of the Bible as society's values and attitudes progress? Yes, I think th there is a sense in which um, folks will say things like, well, parts of the Bible seem absurd to me, uh, so therefore I'll dismiss the Bible. Well, parts of any complex document can seem absurd if you don't know how to interpret it. Parts of the criminal code can seem absurd if you don't understand the context. Parts of any complex legislation can, can seem absurd, and so people can pick and choose phrases out of their context to make them sound absurd. But the Bible is, is, is not a book for kids. The Bible is, is a grown-up book. It's meant to do grown-up things like form people into uh, whole spiritual human beings and form communities of love across cultural lines over the centuries. So we shouldn't be surprised that one can pick and choose at apparently odd things. That's why people actually go to school to learn how to read the Bible carefully, the way they go to school to read law carefully, or they, they go to school to read uh, the physical world carefully. So my, my sense often is, is a little impatience that folks who would never think that they would contradict an astrophysicist, they never think that they would contradict an airline pilot, feel quite free to say silly things about religion without actually taking the time to study why this book would say what it does. So my, my sense is you can take or leave the Bible, but please make sure you're taking or leaving a Bible that you properly studied rather than the one you're taking to pieces.